pursuant to chapter 20 of the acts of 2021 and extended again by chapter two of the acts of 2023 this meeting will be conducted via remote means members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so in the following manner by emailing steve mccarthy at mccarthy s at amherstma.gov that's m-c-c-a-r-t-h-y-s at amherstma.gov no in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means. In the event we are unable to do so for reasons of economic hardship and despite best efforts, we will post on the Amherst website an audio or video recording, transcript, or other comprehensive record of this as soon as possible after the meeting. With that done, we'll call the meeting to order at 5.05 uh, p.m. and take a roll call. Hallie. Here. Gaston? Here. Dylan? Here. And I'm here, and Doug is not here, so we are four present and one absent. Um, okay, so next up is public comment. And for any participants, this is general public comment unrelated to anything on the, um, the agenda. So if you have general public comment unrelated to anything on the agenda, please hit the raise hand button at the bottom of your screen. Nope, okay, um, great. So public comment, and then we go on to licenses. And first up, a couple of common victuals license applications, CB 128 White Lion, Amherst, 24 North Pleasant Street. Steve, is anyone here for that one? I don't believe so. Uh, this is White Lion. You heard their liquor license application not right. too long ago, and um, they just needed their common vic too, so. Okay. Um, great. So does anyone have any, hold on, any questions about this application or concerns? No, I think they spoke about their food plan when they came for their liquor license. They did. Yeah, they did. Um, so yeah. I think we reminded them also of the snack regulation that we have in place. So um, if there are no other questions, is there a motion to approve the White Lion C Common Victuals license? So moved. Thank you, Dylan. Uh, is there a second? Second. I'll second. Uh, whoever was first, I don't know, guest on. <laughs> Hello. Okay, for once. Thank you for the second. Um, any further discussion? Should we wait for, oh, hey, Doug, we're just, uh, we have a motion on the table for, um, and a second for to approve the common victuals license for White Lion Brewery. And you came in at any further discussion, so. I don't know if you have any questions. Um, Hallie already brought up the, the fact that they did talk about their food plan at their liquor license hearing. Um, oh, I'm fine, no? thank you. Okay, great. Um, so we'll take a vote. Hallie. Yes. Um, Gaston? Aye. Doug? Aye. Dylan? Aye. And I vote aye. That is five to zero, and the liquor, uh, the common victuals license is approved. Um, all right, and then next up is a new one, and this is CV-129 Taqueria del Pueblo, 31 Boltwood Walk. Are there people here for this? Is the... Is. They're joining. Oh, great. And good evening. Hello. Can, can you hear me now? Uh, oh, hi. Can you hear me? Hi. Can you hear? Okay, I got it. I figured it. Oh, you're here for, from Taqueria del Pueblo. Yes, I'm the owner of Taqueria del Pueblo. So uh, we hope to open at 31 Boltwood Walk in Amherst. Um, mm -hmm. And it's going to be a Mexican restaurant, and we are going to do primary takeout. Uh, we already do have two existing locations in Worcester, so we're very familiar of what we're going to do our menu, which is going to be tacos, quesadillas, um, tortas, um, burrito, burrito bowls, just a typical no alcohol whatsoever. Uh, we do want to open Monday to Sunday. We want to be open if we're allowed to open late till 2 a.m. Um, and that is the plan. Um, if you guys have any questions, I can answer them for you guys. I don't, uh, did you check off the box for the BYOB? You said no alcohol, uh, right? No alcohol, no, no alcohol. Okay. Just... All right, so there's no BYOB on this. 
Um, great, wonderful. Are there any questions for the common license? Uh, Dylan, yep. Uh, yeah, I just I didn't get the chance to check in the agenda. Uh, what uh, what are your hours of operation? Uh, we want to open from 12 p.m. to 2 a.m. Monday to Excellent. Sunday. Excellent. Any other questions? If not, is there a motion to approve? So moved. Thank you, Doug. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Dylan. That down. Um, yep. Any further discussion? If not, we'll take a vote. Hallie. Aye. Gaston? Aye. Doug? Aye. Dylan? Aye. And I vote aye. That is five to zero. The app uh, license application has been approved. Thank you so much. All and right. Thank you so much. Have a great one, guys. Yeah, you bye. too. Bye. Okay. So now we have special short term liquor licenses. SST-23-33 through through 45 from UMass. And is somebody here from UMass? Yes, Bill Trisbeth yes. will be oh, joining. Great. Who uh, made the motion second in the last one? I think it was Dylan. Uh, was I seconded. Doug oh. uh, made the motion. Yeah. How are you guys? Hi, Mr. Trispit. How are you? I'm doing well. How about you? Very, very well. Thank you. Thank you That's for good. coming in. I see you have uh, a bunch of short terms. Yeah. Um, I, I so... thought that I think the first ones we're talking about are the HTM Marriott meals for the fall semester. Yes. Um, which are um, Tuesday nights. Um, in September, October, November, December, and it's a cash bar from 5.45 to 8 p.m. for anyone who uh, wishes to purchase some alcohol and goes to the HDM program's dinner up in the, the Marriott Center up in the Tom Miami Center. Great. Um, any questions about any of these? Did anyone have a, need another minute to look them over, Doug? Just a confirmation, <clears throat> you're talking about the Campus Center, it, it, this was uh, similar to what we did last year or what you guys did last year where on a, I think it's a, like you said, a Tuesday night, you got a, uh, you know, as part of the program, you offer uh, meal service with the with the alcohol as part of it. So it's the same as, as it was the last time, correct? Correct. Yeah, it's a program they've been running up there for several years now. And yeah. Yeah, it's open to the public. They can come in and order just like uh, any, you know, restaurant would, except it's put on by the HTM program um, for two nights a week. And, um, but they're only going to do the cash bar on Tuesday nights now. So it yeah. uh, goes in conjunction with the dinner, correct? Fantastic. Thank you for that. Yep. You're welcome. Okay. Um, yes, Doug. Marilyn, I'm also noticing there's a few for Balker. And, and do we want to do those as well, or do you want to do those as a separate block? Um, did you, let's see, the Balcar one, SST, is that 23, is that starting at 44? Um, I think it's 42. It starts at 42, I think. 42. 42, okay. 42 3, 4, and 5, 42 through 45 42. are all Balcar. Oh, okay, right. Do love it. Um, sales. and this is this what you've done before also, right? The um the forty two through the remaining I think fifty one, those are the fine arts center performances right. that alternate between Balker Auditorium or the concert hall and the fine arts center. Um, okay. so they're um, beer and wine or um, full cash bar concessions, beer and wine at Balker, and they do uh, full alcohol concessions at the fine arts center. Times are generally in the same. It's in the evening, depending on the time of the performance, will right. affect the start time. Um, but they have a snack bar set up there as well. Um, so people can purchase snacks in addition to a drink before the show. Um, and I think I sent in diagrams for the lobby area and the, where the bar would be set up and things like that. So right, yeah. right. And has that has that changed since last last year? 
Nope, nope. Same, same protocols and same everything, basically. The only thing that's changed is the, the performers, naturally. Different, right. Okay. Different shows. So. Okay. Do we, can we just, should we just do them all at once? Or, I mean, is it? Be inclined to that unless someone has a particular objection, but. Yeah. Does anyone have a motion? Any, yeah. Is there a motion to approve all of the SSTs from UMass, including both the, um, the supper and the, um, the fine arts performances? So moved. Thank you, Doug. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Dylan. Um, any further discussion? If not, we'll take a vote. Hallie? Aye. Gaston? Aye. Dylan? Aye. Doug? Aye. And I vote aye. That is five to zero. Um, the short terms are approved. Thank you so much for coming in. You're welcome. And I did want to point out, um, I have the Fine Arts Center ones that I submitted tonight go through the end of December. Okay. I, I'll have another batch that handle all the 2024 performances. Um, okay. I just... I wanted to get these to you and it was in the mix of right before school started. So everything was kind of crazy. So I just wanted to get these out to you first. I'll send the others in another month or so when things quiet down a little bit here. Okay. All, All right. right. Thank, Thank you, you everyone. Appreciate it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. Okay. So I think that's it for our licenses. And now we move on to discussion items so oh, we do have a lunch card application oh right sorry lunch card application i'm very sorry um lunch cart food truck license application lcft-7 super sweet sandwich shop inc and is somebody here for that yes let me bring him in okay oh there we are <laughs> Uh, Sonia, you should be able to uh, come in as a panelist. I just, there you go. Oh, Sonia. Hello. Sonia, you um should be able to talk now. Or turn on your camera if you want. Unmute, Steve. Hello? We can hear you now. We can hear you now. Oh, oh my God! Oh, you tell? Can you tell I'm really good at this? <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Good evening. Welcome. Hi. Um. So you have a lunch cart. I do. I have, I have a food truck. You have, oh, food truck. Okay. I have a food truck. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fabulous. And so, could you just tell us a little bit about your food truck and what uh, you hope to do? So I have a, a full-blown food truck. I actually did send Steve photos of it. Okay. Um, so we do, um, mo well, we do soup, sandwiches, and uh, desserts. Mostly what we want to do in the Amherst area is um, sandwiches and maybe some desserts. In the wintertime, we, if we're able to make it to Amherst from Springfield, um, we'd probably do some soups as well. Um, I have a brick and mortar in Springfield. Um, I went to UMass, <laughs> so I'd like to uh, travel to the Amherst area if possible. Fantastic. And um, was there a particular location that you were looking at? So the only places I thought that I could utilize were the areas that were common areas that were listed on the website. Okay. Um, so I checked all of those areas because I wasn't, I'm not aware of any other areas that I could particularly go. So I checked uh -huh. the areas that were common areas on the website, assuming that those were the only places that I could actually go as a truck. Okay. Um, okay. So I, I can see your, cause your truck looks kind of big. Is it, is it bigger than, or is that just the distortion of the lens? I'm just wondering. Uh, it's a pretty good size. It's probably about there are 20, most trucks are 26. We're probably 28. Okay. All right. So not that much bigger. All right. Um, great. Does anyone have any questions about the lunch cart food truck license application? No? Um, yeah, I got, I got one same one as before. Just, uh, haven't read it on the agenda. Uh, hours of operation that you're looking for? 
Um, I am looking for oper oper hours of operation. I think I wrote Monday through Sunday or Monday through Sunday. Um, and I know we can only go until eight o'clock. Do I have that correct? Uh, no, we can, we yeah. can do 2 a.m. Am I right about that? Bill? That's so the default that you can I, apply for more. Oh, see, that's what I'm confused by. I only followed the guidelines that were on the um, application. So I right. assumed I had to stop at the application times that were listed. I would love to go later till 2 a.m., but I assumed I could only go until the hours listed on the application in Amherst. Well, we had, I don't think, we haven't changed that, have we? Because we were just sort of almost piloting that with the food trucks that were here in late May. Is that what we were doing, right? Yeah, so, so it's, by default, it's till eight, but you could apply right. for later at a specific location. Um, okay. And you can also apply for specific um, other locations besides the default, but th that, that's kind of the default you get, but you could apply for um, special okay special hours. Or well, that's good to know um, because different towns, depending on where you are, have different places that you can go and you mm -hmm. really can't apply for other places by default. So yeah. it's good to know. So um, I would love later hours than what I have listed. Um, okay. So 2 a.m. would be great for me. I probably will not be there till 2 a.m. because I still have a 45 minute drive back. <laughs> uh, but let's put it out there as 2 a.m. Okay. So can we see, can we just adapt to that? I'm yeah, um, it would be a specific location. I mean, there's one that we were uh -huh. using last year, mm -hmm. um, but uh, which is probably the, the best one for late night hours uh, Okay. By Kendrick Park. So Kendrick Park. So, so the motion would go like to approve the lunch cart license um, with the additional that of a approval of a 2 a.m. hours for the Kendrick Park location, right? Mm -hmm. Something okay. like that. Does that sound good? That sounds great. Okay. Everybody all right with that? I love it. Okay. Um, so who, is there any, are there any further questions? I do not have any. You don't have any? Does anyone on the BLC have any further questions? No. Just out of curiosity, do you post on Facebook or Instagram when you're coming to town? We do. So uh, right now, our food truck is fairly new. Um, I've had a brick and mortar for seven years, and this year I decided to do a food truck. Um, so we are new in the game of this truck. Um, so we are just starting to get out. Um, and we are posting, like I have a calendar of places that we're going to be as we go along, chug along. Okay, great. Um, if there are no further questions, is there a motion to approve uh, this license with the addition of uh, hours extended to 2 a.m. for the Kendrick Park location? So move. So move. Thank you, Doug. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Dylan. Any further discussion? If not, we'll take a vote. Hallie. Aye. Gaston? Aye. Doug? Aye. Dylan? Aye. And I vote aye. That is five to zero. The license is approved. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so hopefully much. Hopefully, I'll see you at the truck. Okay. Yeah, great. Bye. See you, Good luck. see you. See you soon. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. So now we move on to our discussion items. Um, discussion topics. A discussion with Hazel's Blue Lagoon. Steve, did you want to give us an update on that? Yes, so um, I was able to reach uh, Junior Williams, the owner of um, Hazel's by email. Um, it's in your packet there. He uh, he told me he was um, had a prior commitment tonight and would be unable to attend, but had um, had uh, would be back on the sixteenth. Okay, so okay, back on the sixteenth. So. What um, do we just reschedule the wait for him on the what is our next meeting after the 16th? The 21st would be our next 21st. meeting at all. Should we, should we just push it, push the meeting off to the 21st and see if we can get him then? What do people think? Yeah, okay. All right, well, why don't we just uh, do that? 
Steve. And um, it, any- it might also be useful to hear from the uh, the people who want to apply for a new license so we know what their timing situation is. That's an excellent idea. Steve, can you reach out to them and have them at the next meeting if they, or invite them I, to the next meeting? I and will see. invite them to. Yep. Okay. And that would be really nice. And yes, Doug. So, the, <clears throat> so I think to, to guess on point, I think, you know, we, we want to try to be fair to sort of both parties. The, the license yeah. holder might be looking for a new location. Mm-hmm. We'll give them a little opportunity to do that. But at the same time, we want to uh, hamstring a new, a new tenant in the space that might be looking for a license. So, you know, I think mm-hmm. we're trying to strike a balance here uh, that seems fair to every, you know, to, to sort of all parties, you know, give them a chance to, to move their license if, if they've got a new place and new location. So that'd be the critical question I think we need to get an answer to when they come on the 21st and having an understanding of what the timing is for the um, for the new tenants and what their, like to Gaston's point, sort of what their schedule is looking like and what they would like it to be is, is helpful okay. as well as we weigh the options here. Okay. All right. Great. Uh, Dylan, did you have a uh, comment? Uh, yeah, I, mean, I guess I'm mostly just at this point echoing what Doug said. Yeah, my um, my feeling is yeah, if uh, the applicant's not here, are they? That's not who's in the audience. Um, we do have a hand raised in the audience. I believe it's the landlord. Oh, okay. Does that should we? Does landlord want to speak? I can allow her to to speak. Yep. Okay. Catherine, if your hands raised, you can. Yes. Hi. Oh. How are you? Nice Sorry. to see you again. <laughs> You as well. Thank you so much. Um, yes, I know that the occupant, the current tenant, would certainly like to apply because it's a minimum of you know about a three month process for them. Um, so, I certainly would like to voice on their behalf that they would love to apply for their liquor license since they have leased the space since August first, and we're expecting that with the eviction of the previous tenant, that their liquor license would have gone with that so it would have been reverted back to the town but there was a misunderstanding in that regard so they had expected to have been able to apply so at this point they're just waiting for your decision on whether or not they can move forward yeah gaston please go ahead yeah, do you know who gave them the the bad information that would have been part of me and my attorney to be honest since we were in the process of evicting okay. the tenants since right. past well, april right. I, you know, I, I don't think we should feel pressure because of, of a mistake on your attorney's behalf. Um, nevertheless, uh, what is the status of the renovations and what do you understand is the project schedule? So they are in the process of demoing and hopefully within the next month or so, they're looking to be completed. But I'm, I can't be 100% sure on their completion date. All right. Thank you. All right. All right. Great. Thank you so much. Um, yes, Dylan, please go ahead. Uh, I, I just voice kind of my uh, my thinking on this would be, uh, well, first, I guess, let me ask you this, Steve, did, was there was there any sort of indication of uh, whether Hutt Jr. will be able to make it to the next meeting then? Um, he did not indicate anything about that, no. Okay. Uh, I mean, my, my general feeling here is uh, I'm willing to, to certainly hear uh, what he would have to say, uh, see if we can work with him anyway to transfer this license but if, if he's not able to make it to the next meeting I, I'm, I'm inclined to go with the um the landlord on this one uh i, I think we're we're trying to be a little bit more reasonable on this but you know if, if he can't make it to to tell us what's going on i don't feel comfortable holding it up uh longer than one more meeting after this personally okay. i think that's fair could we extend and invite and ask him what his plans concrete plans are for a new location yes i will um he, he said he was looking for a new one i don't know anything about how that's been going um but i will invite him to the next meeting okay. along with the uh, the new applicant that would be great thank be great. you thank you steve um anything else on this otherwise we will look forward hopefully to seeing everyone uh, involved at the next meeting Sound good? Thank you. Oh, great. Thank you so much for coming in. I really appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Um, next up is, uh, let's see. Oh, marijuana regulation. Okay. So Dylan, how has that gone for going? Excellent. So yeah, I uh, said last time I was going to be going 
camping. And then once I get back, I'm going to start working on it. I've just gotten back. Um, so I'll be working on it uh, this weekend. Okay. I'm expecting to, assuming I can, it's uh, the, the scope of it is, is what I think it is. I hope to have something to you guys by the end of the month um, that we can all review, make notes, and then hopefully get adopted shortly thereafter. Um, yeah, that's that's where I'm at in terms of the bylaw. Okay. Or not the bylaw. I'm on uh, Reg Gaston is bylaw. Okay, all right. And Gaston, you're kind of working on this together, so. Uh, I, yeah, I'm happy to. We, uh, uh, Dylan, let's uh, let's schedule some time after this meeting. Sounds good. All okay. right, fantastic. Great. Any other discussions? Oh, I remember. Uh, so our contact for this with the town council is Mandy Johanneke. And she also has been working with Alyssa Brewer, who used to be, as you know, our contact town council. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if we wanted to reach out to her and invite her to one of these meetings or not, um, or if we thought it might be useful. I don't know, but. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'm certainly happy to uh, reach out to Alyssa Brewer. I plan okay. on giving her a call anyway soon, so I'll let her know. She's okay, invited great. to come talk. All right. Um, anything else on this topic? No. Nope. Okay. Yes, Doug. I just say, yeah, I think Dylan and Gaston, if you, if you have the opportunity to talk to Alyssa, she's been extraordinarily knowledgeable about it and, and it'll be a great resource. So she's, yeah. it's worth the time and effort to connect with her for sure. Yeah. Um, okay. So notch up lunch carts and food trucks, Steve. So, um, I have been trying to schedule, I think, you know, we're all ready to, Give this a try. I've been trying to schedule a uh, a meeting between uh, Paul and um, the relevant department heads to really kind of hammer out the final details. But uh, to nobody's surprise, Amherst is very busy in September, so uh, yeah. we've had a little bit of trouble scheduling that. But uh, hopefully, towards the end of next week, we could do that. Um, find a a workable plan and move forward, and then maybe. Um, the uh, you know the license commission meeting on the 21st i'll have to review the regulations to see if um because it is in the municipal parking district if that's something rob could approve there was a administrative approval provision there for the specific trucks being there or um if uh if we would need to go to the board but we have enough time either way if we were shooting for hopefully the weekend of the 23rd and 24th to start that'd be great yeah done um do you know the the town's the I think they call it the block party. Do we know the date of that? It's the 21st. 21st. That, that is on the 21st. Okay. Because <laughs> I, I think that, I don't know that we'd want food trucks to necessarily be there that day. Um, let our brick and mortar businesses sort of get their opportunity to, to get their customers. But I think, yeah, having it soon thereafter would be great if we yeah, could that, makes sense. Up that street. Because, you know, uh, warm weather is always the best time to, to have those. And, Great. Okay, super. Sounds great. Thanks, Steve. Um, and finally, we come to upcoming meetings and agendas. So our next meeting is on the 21st. Uh, we're going to be talking about Hazel's uh, potentially marijuana regulation and bylaws, uh, lunch trucks, food trucks, and anything else. Anything, Steve? Anything? Um, nothing that I know will be coming up at this point. Um, good. And uh, what about additional, I guess we don't have any additional meetings on marijuana bylaws and regulations until we have a draft from Dylan and Gaston, right? So, okay. All right. So, and so that's that. Topics not reasonably anticipated 48 hours prior to the meeting. Any topics? Unanticipated. No. Okay. Well, if there's nothing else, is there a motion to adjourn? Oh, can we first thank Doug again for? Oh yeah, Doug. congratulate Doug. <laughs> we thank congratulations and and thank, thank you. you. Best wishes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it is. It's going to be busy, so I'm. I'm going to do you know everything I can to kind of keep engaged with this as, as best I can as, as we move forward, you know, so I'll try to be still a good participant in this, in this, uh, in this group and, and uh, honor my commitment to the, to the town. So um, if it, if it proves to be too complicated, I'll, you know, 
let go and let someone else serve. So I'll, you know, and, and if, if you feel like that I'm not serving in this role properly, let me know. Okay. Well, we hope, we hope it doesn't come to that, but um, yeah. yeah. But your mental health is more important. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. All right. If there are nothing else, then is there a motion to adjourn? Move. Thank you, Doug. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Dylan. Uh, we'll take a, a vote. Dylan. Aye. Gaston. Aye. Doug. Aye. Allie. Aye. And I vote aye. Um, we're five to zero. We're adjourned at 5.34 p.m. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Steve. See you on the 21st. All right. Okay, I'll see I you have... then. Thank you.